Uh, no, I'm ready to. A <laughs> couple of safety things first. Number one thing, do not put your finger in there. <laughs> I was. Mantra is curiosity. YouTube is celebrating its Canadian content creators this year, and one of those is Half Food Go with nearly 9.5 million subscribers. Yeah, his channel focuses largely on tech and not yet ready for store shelves, inventions, and gadgets. Joins us live, Hafu. Good to see you this morning. Congratulations on this. When you first started, you, you know you're now overwhelmingly, massively subscribed yeah. to a YouTube page. Did you ever think you would get to this level? Thank you for having me. Um, honestly, I started when I was a college kid. I was like editing videos while I was uh, in the library, and other people were studying. So this is unimaginable. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm glad that you finished university, you got your degree, and you kept making videos, and then you kind of turned to fitness, because that's what you were into, and I was watching some of your videos when you did the Shaolin Monk Challenge. Uh, talk about where you get your ideas now, because I know you're kind of delving into small gadgets, superhero weapons, like where does your imagination take you? Honestly, it's just all about exploring what I'm curious about. Uh, that's what my whole content is about. It's exploring my curiosity and learning something from it. Hmm. And is this, this, is this it? Is this your full-time job right now? Like, this is what you do? You're not doing anything else? It's just YouTube is, I mean, I would assume, clearly enough for you. Yeah, um, you know, in the beginning, uh, my Asian parents always <laughs> bothered me to get a real job. <laughs> and, uh, now they don't bother me anymore. So because I've been able to support myself and a small team through what I've created online. Mm -hmm. Wow. And Hafu, for people wondering out there, I mean, you always hear about like Mr. Beast, these other YouTube's creators and stars making gajillion dollars. I mean, is it really profitable? Can you share how much money you make or maybe just the range? Yeah, I think it's it's hard um, with content creation. In the beginning, you make no money mm. and for years and years, and you just kind of have to grind through that. And eventually, if you proceed, um, proceed long enough, and do it like continue doing it without giving up, you're able to make a decent living. You know, it's interesting halfway that you say that because I think a lot of people just sort of look at what's out there on social media, look at the content, and some of it looks, you know, in some cases simplistic, but clearly you've thought out what you're doing here. You know, can you talk a bit about the work that goes into this? Because it's not like you just flick on your camera, do something and post it, right? I mean, there, this is this is a mm -hmm. full-time job in a way. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of work. A, a video can take anywhere from like, a month to two months to make. Um, it's wow. a lot of like wow. production. It's a lot of pre-production, coordinating with people, um, and then filming, editing. It's a whole. It's a whole gig. Hmm. Yeah, and Hafu, you know, a lot of kids out there, a lot of people, even adults, turning to side hustles, thinking, "Hey, yeah. I need to support my income. I'm gonna, you know, turn to social media and do it." And it was really interesting learning about your story because you really went at it, even though you'd work 50 hours on a video and get like 200 views, but you kept persevering. You kept telling yourself, no, I love this. And I think your passion fueled it. Uh, but what would you say to people who are just getting started that want to be where you are today? Is the lesson to keep going or did you have to go to like YouTube school and learn the algorithms? What are the steps? Um, Jen, you did great research, by the way. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, the steps, honestly, uh, there is no YouTube school. Um, you learn by doing. So at first, I didn't really think too much about posting a video. I just thought of an idea in the shower and then posted it right away. And just through the process of constant posting and getting feedback, I learned what to do and what not to do. Mm. Okay, well, you're doing it right. Nine and a half million subscribers and following on YouTube. Half go. good to talk to you. Congratulations on being one of the top Canadian creators on YouTube. Appreciate the time this morning. Thanks so much.